Welcome everyone, Eugene Houston Motorized Bikes. Hey, got a new video series for you. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos, but I'm back at summer of 2018. I'm getting leaner and I'm meaner. I'm going to show you how you can build a really nice, reliable two-stroke bike without using specialized tools. The goal of this bike is to give you a well-performing, reliable, bolt together bike that's that uh, that has some upgrades on it okay uh, some of these components you might be able to fabricate yourself if you want or you can purchase these here uh, the upgrades are going to be fairly uh, simple over the standard um, I'm not a big fan of the kit throttle grip plastic it breaks okay we're going to go with a all metal throttle here you're going to have to tap it to uh, to accept the stock throttle cable, not a big deal, or if you want, check the link down below. I'm going to have a blog page on it, and uh, it'll detail the build, and I'll give you links to all the parts. I can provide you with the throttle assembly with the stock cable on it ready to go. Uh, we're going to use the hub adapter. We're not going to deal with the rag joint. Uh, we're going to have a front motor mount. I like that. And uh, the, although the racing kit comes with the spring-loaded gizmo here for your chain tensioner, I don't like these uh, chain tensioners where they can go into the wheel. It's a bad thing. Hey, if you're good, you know what you're doing. You can also run it without a chain tensioner, but you wind up shimming the motor. And to me, chains always stretch. Things where I like the ability to be able to just adjust it and go instead of messing with shimming the motor and all of that. So uh, I'm going to come up with the... Uh, the arch type uh, custom motored bicycles they market an arch type chain tensioner that bolts onto the frame at the top and the bottom from the uh, the, the seat stay to the chain stay. But yet they're out of it half the time, uh, most time when I go to order it. So I'm going to start marketing and selling uh, the uh, the frame mounted two point mount chain tensioner. Check the link down below. Uh, we're going to upgrade the wheels on this here. I'm going to use a 29 inch frame and we're going to go with 26 inch wheels. Now this sweetheart here is a hub brake. It's like a moped style hub brake. We're going to go with 11 gauge spokes on it, nice thick spokes, thick steel rim on it. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get one of these bad boys here. The rear wheel, same thing, thick chunky steel rim, 11 gauge spokes. We're going to go with a coaster brake. Um, some of you may go, well, hey, let's go with disc brakes. I don't like them. You're going to have to, if you put disc brakes on a motorized bike, to me, they're a little bit troublesome. You're always replacing the pads. The Sturmy Archer hub is going to last. So that's what we're, we're going to go with there. Uh, front suspension, we're going to go with the Monarch style Springer forks. Um, one inch threaded. The bike that I'm building is going to be on a Makarji Fatal Love 29-inch frame. I'm going to go with a 29-inch frame, and yes, we're going to put 26-inch wheels on it. Okay, to me, I like that. It gives it a little bit more aggressive stance, gives you a little bit more room on the frame over the the standard 26 or uh, beach cruiser frame. But you can use whatever you like, whatever you can find. But if you can find a Makarji Fatal Love or the Huffy Millennial 29-inch Beach Cruiser. You got yourself a nice frame uh, that you want if you want to go ahead and uh, follow along. Uh, the, when I'm finished with the bike, I'm going to put it on eBay, put it up for auction. It might get you a good deal on it. So uh, check the link below here. Like I said, it's July 2018. I'm going to have the, the bike done here in short order. i got plenty of time to devote uh, right now on uh, on getting this bike built. So uh, follow soon. we got a lot more videos coming. Check on my channel, Houston Motor. I'm going to have the playlist on this build here so you can follow along. Click subscribe if you want to, you know, as well get updates on it. All right, so the gas bike motor here, it comes uh, somewhat disassembled. You're going to have to put the piston on it. The, 
set it up right. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, you've got the uh, the reed valve jug on it, the cylinder on it. You come, of course, the kit comes with the reed valve that I just mentioned. You're going to have to put your piston on. comes with an aftermarket carburetor on it. Uh, the kit comes with the hub adapter sprocket. Front motor mount. Now, make a note, the newer Cranbrooks have a different size mount. I think they're, they're inch and a half, whatever. Check the blog post. I'll, I'll put that information on the blog post there. Uh, like I said, we're going to go through the kit. Stuff I don't like, we're going to pitch. Um, I'll show you links where you can get the upgraded materials that, that we're, that we're uh, going to use in the kit. Hope you find this useful. If you got any questions, comments, put them down below. Hey, if you're such an expert, Build your own damn bike. Do your own video. But just follow along. Be nice with your comments. Most everybody's absolutely awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you want to follow along. Thanks for watching.